welcome back to my channel so today's video is another wig install for you guys um, today's wig is by love me hair I picked up this wig myself it is not a sponsored video and I have a 12 inch bob with a lace closure um, it is pre plucked the notch were not bleached and y'all I really love the cut of this bob it's like a nice silky texture um, not really a yakky texture but a nice silky more Brazilian type texture and it's super soft. I did co-wash the hair actually before I did place it on but I did not show that part in my video but um, yeah and look at the lace on this wig also it's pretty pretty good I'm not sure the type of lace that it is but it looks more like um, it's not in HD of course but it looks more so like it so inside the packaging look at that uh, wonderful little zip ziploc bag that it did come with and all those goodies inside pretty much everything for applying a wig so here I am going to add my wax stick to lay the parting flat because I do not like the puff and I'm going to use my Andis hot comb to sleep down the hair to keep it flat. So I'm going to part the hair little by little in sections to straighten out the hair just to keep it more uh, sleek and to give it that blunt look and get those uh, little edges out. So here I'm going to add a little foundation to make the parting look more realistic and to kind of open up the parting as well. And still I'm going to use my Andes hot comb just to lay the hair flat because I do want that flat sleek look if y'all know what I mean okay because a girl don't like them thick ass bobs I'm sure I'm sorry to say it like that but I do not like those full crazy looking bobs <laughs> that's just not my thing Alright, so the next step, I am going to lay the lace down using my Got To Be Glued Free Spray. And I normally like to use the gel, but I couldn't find it. I literally had it like a few days ago. I don't even know what I did with it, but yeah. So I'm spraying it on my hair, just onto the lace. And then I'm going to use my blow dryer on cool setting to uh, mold it down, basically. Or dry it up.
So now that it is dry, I'm going to cut the lace off in sections. I'm going to cut it in three sections actually, just to make sure that everything is molded down. And I like to take my time with the lace when I'm cutting it because as you can see, um, I did spray where I was spraying the free spray went more so down on my forehead so I had to lift up a little bit and I was being careful so I didn't have to lift, lift the whole lace and mess everything up. Okay, so it's time for the baby hairs. I wasn't gonna go with baby hairs, but I decided to do two swoops on the side to cover up the piece of lace that's basically um, sticking out on the sides. I couldn't cut that off. I didn't wanna mess up the lace. So I'm just gonna cover it with my baby hairs. Okay, so it's time to melt the lace and mold my baby hairs down with this lovely silk wrap or what do you call those again? I really forgot what you call those, <laughs> but um, it did come with the kit that they'd sent in with the wig. So pretty, but yes, I'll be back and I am back. The hair is molded down and look how lovely, lovely, lovely this wig looks. So, so soft. There is a little bit of shine because I did add um, some serum and I also added the heat protected serum um, as well I don't like to add a lot of product in the hair to because it will weigh everything down that's just my preference but yeah so this is the finished look of the wig I'm just showing you side views and the back views shout out to love me hair you guys did your thing with this wig I definitely love this wig it's so pretty the cut, the construction, everything about it. I love it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you definitely subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have any questions for me. I'll go ahead and list the link of the wig down below for you guys. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.